Today we're going to have a spot of tea. Curling style. As you may have guessed, Canadians do drink a lot more tea per capita than Americans do. Or at least it seems that way to me. Partly because of that British influence. But today I'm going to try something different when it comes to tea. I do like tea, but I have never in my life had tea with the Keurig. <laughs> yeah, and this is Earl Grey. Tea Earl Grey, hot. So, because I do love Earl Grey tea, and I have never tried tea this way. Now, I know there are some Brits out there that would think that making tea this way is a bit blasphemous. And I am partially inclined to agree with them. But, in the interest of fairness, I will actually try this out and see if I like it. Earl Grey. Interestingly enough, I have noticed that Static Camper Van has disappeared from YouTube at the exact same time that the coffee shops closed. Coincidence? I think not. Number one, make it so. Okay, let's get this thing rolling and see how it's gonna work out. Okay, I think I put that in here. I've only used Keurig a few times in my life because I've always thought that Making coffee, or in this case tea, this way is a very expensive way of purchasing coffee or tea in a small package that they can control the proprietary amount that you use, whether you like it or not. So, let's plug this baby in and brew. Oh, there we go. I did things in the wrong order and the machine didn't like it. Boy, they gotta make these things idiot-proof, don't they? Okay, let's wait three minutes and see what happens. Well, it sure smells good. It does smell like Earl Grey. Tea. Earl Grey, perhaps. Okay, here goes nothing. Mm, well, it's very warm. Um, it tastes a bit Earl Grey-esque. See? Earl Grey, hot. Yeah. Um, I'm not thinking this is quite up to the Earl Grey standard of making it with a tea bag. I hate to say this, but I'm a wee disappointed in terms of a letter grade. If a normal cup of Earl Grey would be an A. I would give this maybe a C plus. Maybe. It's uh, nothing to write home about. I mean it's palatable but the full bouquet that you expect with a traditional cup of Earl Grey is somehow lost in that little Keurig machine. Don't know whether it's the dosing, don't know whether it's just the quality of the tea. Maybe the tea leaves obviously are older because these things are made in a factory, put in those little containers, shipped around. So who knows what's going on? I don't claim to understand how this entire Keurig thing works, especially for tea, because I've never tried Keurig tea in my life. So a little bit disappointed, but you know, my expectations were not super high either. But in a pinch, this will do. But it's, uh, yeah, this is like camping for me. <laughs> so I can't complain. You know, when you're urban camping here in Yale Town in downtown Vancouver, you just have to roll with things. Now, in the interest of finding out if Static Camper Van is okay and still out there somewhere, I have rigged this coffee trap to lure him in and trap him. So I've put a Van Hoot Sumatra in there. Oh yeah, nice little Indonesian coffee. That's the bait. And so the, the idea is Static is lured inside and of course he knocks the knife over, trapping him inside. Now I do have air holes here for him to breathe in case uh, it takes a while for me to get to the trap, but that's, that's essentially how the Static Camper Van coffee trap works. That, that's patent pending, folks, by the way. So in the meantime, folks, stay safe and make your tea the traditional way and don't be disappointed. Over and out.
Would you like some tea? 